Hansa, a portable high altitude long endurance drone, an unmanned airplane with about 2 meter wingspan and can be hand launched. It is made of balsa wood and fiberglass and weighs about 1.2 kg. It has a uniquely high payload capacity of 3 kg, which is highest for any drone of this weight category. We have designed it to be ultra portable. It weighs only 1.2 kgs, yet it can carry about 3 kgs of payload. So that is actually one of the highest in its class anywhere in the world. Now what this means is that let us say in a situation where say where there is Naxalite activity happening. You can send it in Naxalite areas, it will create a map of an unknown forest, unknown area and then you can pass it to our CRPF Jawans because currently they go in those areas completely unaware. They have no idea which way to go and they get ambushed. So, so those are the areas wherever it is dangerous for a human being to go first. You should send a machine like this first. It has GPS and autopilot and can autonomously take off, follow a mission and land. It has got a unique day and light camera with 20x optical zoom, ability to detect and track a human from 1 km distance. It can fly altitude of 1 km for about 4 hours and can be controlled from up to 10 km distance. It has two modes of operation. The first mode of operation would be an RC control system where we operate on a radio frequency and we communicate with the, uh, the plane, uh, gives, give it instructions to move around, hover around and whatever missions we are uh, implementing it carries out. It's, it's more of a real time analysis where a pilot is needed. The second mode that it can uh, very much operate on is known as an autonomous mode. The main features of the autonomous mode is that you can pre-plan the mission and uh, you can send it for supposedly f I-5 to uh, scout the sky. So maybe it will scout the sky for uh, half an hour and I plan that mission and I send that mission to it before launching the, uh, the, uh, the UAV. So once the UAV launches, uh, it will carry out its mission. One more important thing that it does is it updates its mission on real time basis. So supposedly uh, the priorities of the mission has changed and the situation have compromised. So what we do is we update the mission, giving it new wave points, maybe giving it new instructions and it simultaneously updates that and uh, sends it to the main processor and then operates accordingly. Current methods of CCTV surveillance are both inefficient and ineffective. Although we designed it initially for Army, we've discovered that there are various other applications where we are getting inquiries from. One of the main areas is farming. So, you know, in agriculture, a plane like this can be used to evenly spray pesticides, seeds, fertilizers and also monitor any sort of theft or even scare away animals who eat away uh, uh, a lot of grains. So that is one big area we have seen. Uh, the second area we have seen is in media and event coverage. Uh, 